What up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Warden here. I have no idea where I'm going today, but I gotta figure it out quick, cause there's the wife. I better turn on the car though, in case she uh, calls me and gets mad. Just got the bike back and uh, wanted to take her out, but I have no idea where to go. I thought about blasting back to Rapid and Camp just to, you know, get some emotional closure. Saying like I, I actually went to the cabins on the bike rather than hiking there. I just know I got to be outside, man. And there's a lot of other bikers today who have the same idea. Beautiful day. Not super hot. Just gorgeous all around. Falls fast approaching. So trying to make the most of uh, what they call the end of the season. What I call the not having to wear 50,000 clothes and sweat. Back at the Rapid Inn river and i think that's quaker road which turns into like rapidan river road that is where i got stuck a couple weeks ago and it was because the bolt on the sprocket just came off so this bike is notorious for being uh, as a 300 cc it vibrates a lot it actually vibrates the bolts on the rear rack they come off all the time so i have to constantly tighten them i'm just going to give her a once over before I go back there, take a breath, be calm. Just make sure she's good, because I really don't want to walk nine miles again with one bottle of water. <laughs> you hear me? You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. So let's do a test, shall we? Because I'm curious. Lots of trucks here today, man. She's fine by me. I know it's Saturday, so I would assume a lot of people would be here. Engine brake. Engine brake. That was deep. My instincts were right. I knew that was deep. I was wondering why. Now it's like a muddy mess. But when that puddle was so big before. <laughs> oh man. I kind of regretted not going through it. Now I'm like, smart move, bro. Okay, this is a bit chunky and sharp. Sharp rocks. Gonna pick lines that look like soft rocks. Good luck with that. Whee! Let's see if I can wave to these guys with on my left hand. Ooh. Yep, it worked. They saw my hand wave. Oh, that was hard. Standing up, knees slightly bent, balls of the feet attached to pegs. Engine brake most of the way down. <laughs> Don't touch the rear brake. Too much. Up. Oh. Wow, what's that? Some kind of Toyota. Wait, is that an Escalade? That's no, a Toyota. About to say, man. It's like, what? He's dead. What's up? Watch the chunky! Yeah, this section's steep. The rest of it isn't this steep, man. There's some up and down sections, but not like this. And not this intense, not like constant steep. With constant boulders that you gotta weave your way carefully through. I don't know if I have a good suspension, but I trust this bike is all I'm saying. Okay, that was not the greatest of lines, but it paid off. Okay, that one wasn't as deep. The other one was, though. Holy cow. Man. These boulders are just getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to stay on the right. Heck with that. I'm going to go rock climbing. At least these rocks are smooth and predictable. 
Although, this one might be kind of okay on the left. As long as I don't fall off the cliff. That'd be bad. Bad.com. Bad.net. Bad.edu. Bad.co.uk. Bad.co.jp. Alright. River time. Yeah, so there's a lot of people at the river. So we're going to keep going. We're going to break my record, bro. We're going to do this cardio game. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, yeah, there's three cars. There's room for probably one more. Alright, let's go. <laughs> This feels chunkier than last time. Either that or I forgot how much the camera flattens it out. These rocks are terrifying. I'm, I'm convinced the camera just, even with wide mode off, does not do this terrain justice. Because, man. Like, the rest of this is fine. That part right there was just awful. Absolutely awful. In a fun way. Lots of whoops. Lots of whoops. At least I can be in second gear. Get a breeze going. Alright. I won't be so nice this time. If I get stuck, I will definitely ask one of these people for help. This is right out. <laughs> you know, I really haven't stopped and looked at the water. I probably should. Can't tell if it's... Uh, hard to pay attention to the trail and the water at the same time. It's hard to tell if it's shrunk or not. I guess I guess it has. I'll go. To, you know what I'll do? I'll go to that campsite and uh, look at those boulders. I kind of remember that. Let's go take a look. Take a look. <clears throat> yeah, this whole area is <laughs> so beautiful. I can see why that Walter from the Eastern Shore has been coming here for four years. I mean, just... Beautiful. It's awesome. And I'm sure in the fall it looks different and it's still cool. And I'll have to come here in the winter, do some winter camping with my uh, homies. Although, if they don't have the car for it, we might have to try something else. We'll see. I've never winter camped in the motorcycle before. So that'll be a first for me. I'm used to doing my backpacking gear in the van, so I don't need the space. In theory, I could do everything on the backpack, I guess. I'm more concerned about starting this in the cold. Mine second. Yeah, I am. Man, lots of whoops. Holy cow. Go suspension. Alright. Yeah, you're doing pretty good, Versus. Yeah, it does look a little bit lower, at least here. I remember those boulders were covered. Alright, let's go back to first. This chunky section. I can't take this in second. I'm not that good. I have too much anxiety about my tires. Alright, don't slow down. What's up, brother? Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rest of this isn't too bad. We could, we could take a break and sit for a minute. Although it's good to stand up. More comfortable to stand up. Softer ride to stand up. Yeah, I had to put my sunglasses back on. I kept getting hit in the eyes by these weeds. I cannot lose my eyes in this stuff, man. I thought I'd be okay, even though it's a little dark, but... I'd rather be a little dark than still have the use of my eyes. All right, a bunch of whoops this time. No more puddles. Well, okay, one puddle. Yeah! That, <laughs> that suspension doesn't feel so great. I don't know. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I haven't tweaked it. So much to learn. I don't know, man. The bike might shake, but like on the pegs, I feel great. Like when it goes through those whoops, you know what I mean? Like when it's more than just one like that. Like if it's two. Like that, I mean, feels good, feels okay. I'm probably not being as aggressive as some of these other guys are. Also, I only, I think 
I weigh, I've lost some weight, so I think I'm 168, maybe 165 at this point. It used to be fluctuate anywhere from 146 to 182. I gotta start working out again, get them gains, gain weight, and then I can adjust preload for a valid reason. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's some whoops with some mud. Yeah, mud and a whoops and a whoops and a whoops. Yeah, see, I'm getting my confidence up. I'm attacking those whoops. Simply coming back to the same trail is just massive for your self-esteem, dude. Highly recommend. Yeah, even the mud. Since since there's not much water, I gotta hit more mud, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so that one is where my mom and I took the selfie by the river. Let's stop there for a second. I can probably probably eyeball it. Maybe make a guess at how good it is? Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I know there's wet stuff on the rocks, but like, dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was like a foot or two Maybe even three higher. This is back to normal, whatever this is. It's still high, but... Yeah. Way more normal. Way more normal. Alright. I've learned my lesson. Never go slower <laughs> than five miles an hour. Hey, what's that say? Revegetated area camping. Does that mean you're allowed to camp or not allowed to camp? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'll have to look that up. Technically, we're in the park ground, so you have to follow the park camping rules. Whereas the National Forest has different rules around fires, but camping's about the same. 100 to 200 yards from trail, whatever it is. 200 to 500 yards from a water source, for example. But I don't... Oh, yeah. that Dude, that was like... Yeah, man, that was way higher see this is more fun because you can sit on sunbathe on those rocks and yeah that was that was rushing ooh sand what's up all right let's go check out that other campsite i'm curious what it looks like in reasonably normal times yeah see you've got the the beaches now that's so cool and like the mini waterfalls I gotta get Rona or Brandy a dirt bike, bring them here, and we can find some excuse to camp. I could carry like most of the gear twice, you know what I'm saying? Park the van at the bottom. That'd be kind of cool. I wish I could bring three bikes. Like this, this one I could drive, the Zero I could put on the back of the trailer, and maybe. A Honda CRF 110 I could put in the van? <laughs> Maybe. That'd be neat. Man, it's getting dark. I'm not taking off these sunglasses yet. I want to get to that campsite and their cabins and then make a U-turn. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's check out the campsite and then we'll We'll do a Yui here. Oh wow. He got a car back there. That's nice. Alright, well I'll just trust that the the water is good. I don't wanna I don't wanna bother those campers they look like they got a dope relaxing setup the last thing they need is a 300 cc sport bike engine going wee next to them <laughs> <laughs> sorry bro my power band isn't until 10 so says the internet i don't know man i feel like i have enough power to tackle any of this i'm curious what how i would do with like quote unquote a real dirt bike or something like a dual sport like a CRF 300 or a um, like the rally or 
the CF Moto Ibex MT, what is it, 450? But more particular, something like maybe the CRF 450. I don't know. One of those bikes with maybe the same tires, just the same tires style, right? Like, like uh, what is it? I think these are 70 to 60 dirt. So, be an interesting comparison. Because I, I just, this bike is so, you know, confidence inspiring because of these tires off road. Where my zero is not, but it could be. Maybe the suspension is set up. I don't know. I'm still learning. Either way, I just, I, I'm not being aggressive right now, but I, I feel like I could be if I had a inkling to, you know, practice confidence, stuff like that. Take a look at this bridge real quick. Yeah. That must have been just like all the rain had just washed off and now everything's like back to normal. I bet you that culvert that was out in the previous video is like dry as a bone now. And it's actually harder to cross if they don't have the bridge because like, you know, there's no, like all the water washed everything away. Whoa, lost traction. Oh, they got the mound fire pit. The mound fire pit. Yeah, a lot of campers this weekend. This is the place. Alright, so I lost traction. The back wheel still has a lot more tread than the front. And I kept the throttle reasonably steady. So I'm wondering if I can start experimenting with... Uh, you know, adjusting power. I'll have to, I'll have to practice on flat to do that. Cause this, this is not as snatchy as the Ibex, from what I heard, but you still can definitely benefit from, you know, feathering the clutch a little bit, so you adjust how much power first gear is doing on the back wheel. So, oh, so much stuff I need to practice and read and try. That's why I'm out here, man. Having fun. If I make time to practice something, great. I feel like I'm challenging myself now. Still having fun, you know? All right, so at the top was where the first, I don't think the culvert was washed out, but it was fixing to be. Whatever makeshift rocks they did to put on top of it got washed away. Ugh. Whew. I need to sit down and take a break. Ugh. Let's go into second gear. Alright, so at the top of this hill. Yeah. This is where stuff was good. Is it the right hill? Maybe I'm speaking prematurely. Now it's got to be close, right? There we go. Yeah, right there. I mean, you can see the stream's been there for a while, but let's see what happened here exactly. I mean, I know it's my sunglasses, but wow. Yeah, it's hard to see. I'm going to put my sun guide lights on. Uh, it doesn't make any bit, bit of difference. Wow. Well, either way, that was... I don't think it was meant to be that deep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like a culvert or something under there. It's pretty impressive. All right. Let's not have a repeat of last time. Unfog my sunglasses and hope I don't have to stop. If they still have that bridge, then we'll be good. Skid plate, take a rock, okay. That was pretty loud. Yep, bridge is still there. And everyone had to go right in the mud to get across it. It's already cracking, huh? I'll go over the center because that's where the thing was. Yeah, it doesn't look like Walter's rig. Walter was that guy who basically pushed my bike up 
by himself onto the ramp. And the reason that's a big deal is because my mom and they were at help. More importantly, the Ford 250 is is got to have the trailer hitch at least like a foot, foot and a half off the ground. It's crazy high. So that was that was impressive. All right, I'm going to turn around up here. But I definitely want to see the cabins. Wow. They are packed this weekend, dude. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. A lot of parking, too. All right, I think that's it. I think the one up here is a shed, so I'm going to turn around right here. If you keep going out there, it's basically a private road. You can escape the other way, but yeah. Man, it's harder to turn with this uh, seat eye adjustment. <laughs> Feather the clutch, buddy. Okay. And off we go. That's, uh, that's really cool, man. That's one, two, three, four. And I think there's five over here. I looked at the map last time with my phone. I'll have to go on the website and See if I can bring up an image in the video. Ding. Yeah, that would be five, I think. The cool bridge. All right. So, to quote Samwise Gamgee, after this bridge, it's as far as I've ever been. So let's just hope the cowie stays together until after that so I can set a record. Then walk nine miles out walls. All right, nice and slow. Boom. All right. Okay, past here. Yep, now I'm setting a record. Don't want to jinx it. Don't want to jinx it. All right, maybe I should just go in first. <laughs> My skid plate's like... Getting boulders hit at it as a warning to slow down. It's not so much the tires that I'm having anxiety about now. It's the uh, ground clearance. It's it's we moved it up to six and some change. I think the ground clearance by default is seven, but that's not enough. <laughs> it's not en not enough to give you massive amounts of confidence. Like you could get on a 36 inch seat height bike. I think. Yeah, man, I'm, I think either one more of this or like something similar to this and I'm ready to like try Bold Mountain again, especially if uh, the water's gone down. Cause I, I can't, I can't go in water. Like I don't have a snorkel and a lot of those puddles are just massive. And a lot of those Jeeps, when I saw them on YouTube, they were just up to their, you know, high tire, which it's got to be at least two feet and some chains. So, and of course, you know, they have snorkels on those uh, Jeeps, some of them. And even if they don't, they're still like four feet out of the, out of the way. So it's safer for them to, to go in the water without like a spotter or without worry that it's going to dip, for example. Not so for me. Well, I mean, the Cowie, you know, it's going uh, five bars and then down while I'm powering her through first gear up and down this stuff with engine braking. I mean, I'm impressed. It's very clear that even with the skid plate, hold on, I got to focus. Even with the skid plate, uh, she's cooling down, you know, that I'm, I'm thinking maybe in another 2,000 miles, just on a whim, I'll try... Uh, cleaning the coolant again where you do the you drain it and then you do the ammonia and water mix I think it is or is it white vinegar I think it's white vinegar I don't know but I, I have some so we had to do the same thing to descale our tankless hot water heater so <laughs> thank you ma'am it was her she warned you <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. I swear I saw that woman like her driving her kid on the ATV. It was hilarious. It was way over there, though. Maybe. Probably a different person. See, now it's so low, I want to take the cowie in there. Famous last words. I mean, I got no luggage. How heavy could it be? When the entire thing's full of water and I'm panicking because my exhaust is drowning and it'll never start again. <laughs> Do not tempt fate, Mr. Warden. Says the guy going to the exact same place he broke down at the exact same distance with the exact same lack of mechanical knowledge with the exact same lack of electronics to signal for help. <laughs> Look, y'all, my secret to success is not intelligence. It's not charisma. It's not being nice. It's grit. Never give up. With a positive twist, right? Because every failure means you're leveling up. It's kind of like in Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know if you ever played that game, but it... The reward, whether you use experience or not, is that when you complete a story, you get a reward. So it's not just for the fun of being social with people, whether you're doing it online, Twitch style, or in group, but you accomplish something. You, you and your team, or your group, or your party, whatever you want to call it, accomplish something. Very similar to sports, like football, you know, you get rewarded for that. And whether that's minor experience points to the party, or individuals, when you get that reward, you get new abilities. It mirrors real life. Now, how you get it, whether you complete a story or over time, but the point is you get rewarded, right? I feel like in real life, failures are that experience. Yes, you can do something and not get hurt and not fail and still learn, but I feel like the failures are the, the mad XP bonuses. That's what I think. If you can take those failures and dust yourself off, man, you learn a lot. Now, if you apply those lessons, that's different. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's, that's how, obviously, half of it's genetic. I get that from my mom and my dad. They're both, you know, relentless. But I think the other half is definitely positive thinking, excitement to learn, excitement that I've had so many failures in the past, and I've watched a pattern of them making things easier because I learn, you know. I want to test something. Does it? Does it change? No, it doesn't Doesn't really change. Okay. I thought the lights would change. It's just these sunglasses make everything so dark. All right, well, according to the bike, it's uh, 4.53. So I started around 4, I would say, 05, which means the bike's about f four minutes fast, so about 4.10. Oh! Camera just hit the uh, windshield. That hurt. Not really. It was just scary. So it takes about, what, 20 odd minutes to get there and back? Okay. This is a lot faster than walking. I definitely recommend this over walking. Unless you're backpacking, in which case I wouldn't take this trail. I'd go to one of the other trails. There's so many cool trails right here. I've only done one of them. Wow, that's kind of cool. Is there a campsite there? Oh, I can't really see. Oh, well. Ooh, sand. Don't want to screw up on a bridge. <laughs> you want some anxiety? There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rampant. I'm getting excited. I, I'm going to try jumping, and I should not. I still haven't figured out. Like I had the same problem in BMX bikes, like keeping the wheel straight. So when you land, it's like a, a good landing. I could do it on rollerblades, but I... For whatever reason, the challenge on bikes, I think it's because I was just young, not strong. Not saying I had the same power lifting level strength I had from eight years ago, but I could definitely do some BMX launches and lands with a lot more confidence now, so I should definitely try it on this thing. Alright, I'm having too much fun, man. I'm going to take these sunglasses off. Now I can see. <laughs> Let's hit some whoops, baby. Mud whoops. Yeah. 
I mean, the suspension on this is so much softer than my Zero, but maybe it's not good. I, I don't really know what good suspension is. Neutral. That's not how you drive. There we go. Second gear. Huh. Dodge the boulders. Don't hit those at 20 miles an hour, dog. All right, let's hit these and see how it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fun. I wonder if I should do a camera shot. I don't know if I brought my tripod. Yeah, I didn't bring my tripod. I'll do it some other time. Maybe we'll go back to... Whoa, Boulder. We'll go back to uh, South Peddlers. Maybe with this bike and do the South one instead of the uh, other one. I forget the name of the South one that I actually didn't get to do, but apparently it's more advanced. I should at least check it out. I don't have to do it. I can just go do the other one again. Yeah, see, as long as my feet are on the pegs, I'm okay. It's just like... Not a big deal, but it's clear the bike is, is bouncing all over the place. Maybe the suspension needs to be tightened? I don't know. Let's go right for that mud, baby. Oh, yeah. There we go. I felt that in my socks. <laughs> Gotta enjoy the last part of summer, man. Once you do that stuff in winter, you're like, Oh, my God, my feet. They're so cold. You gotta bring spare socks. Although, wool socks are pretty dope, man. Even in the summer. They absorb so much water. And you can wear them in the summer and you don't uh, get as hot as you think you do. Slow it down, Mr. Warden. There's a lot of nasty looking sharp boulders there. Yeah, I'm going to take a break by the water. I've Whoa. The front tire literally went left. Like, just decided to move left. Well, the, the rear kept going. That was, that was an experience. Oh, wow. It's a backpacking tent. See how small that was? It's kind of nice. It's probably got room for like one person and barely uh, a pack. If you're a little dude, if you're a big dude, you better get off the two or the three person. Ugh. Mud pit. Oh yeah. I'm getting excited on the way back. Got to hit all the mud pits. Right there. Doosh. Doosh. Can we hit this one? Why not? It'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, my feet. Got to get my socks wet on this one. Oh, yeah. If your feet are dry, are you even trying? And if you're in Arizona, that doesn't count. Arizona has water, right? Maybe they don't. Maybe maybe I could give them a Christmas present of just water. Oh, little kid. Got to be careful. Use a little bit of both front and rear brake. Ooh, and a dog. What's up, dog? Man, almost every campsite's taken. All the good ones. That's, that's a good sign, man. This part's pretty gnarly. I better go slow. Wow, why didn't I take this line on the way up? That was way easier. Huh. Oh well.
All right, for this one, I'm not going to use the microphone. You're going to hear the raw roar of the Versus. All right, we had our rest. We had our water. Let's do this. First puddle, right from the sky. Other puddle. I gotta check my uh, trunk at the top. We got a few minutes. We gotta get up to this mountain. Pick a line, baby. I'm gonna try to pick a line on the right this time. We're gonna always just chunk it. As long as you got throttle, you be good, buddy. You be good. Just go right through that mud. Do it. Steady. Steady. <laughs> Move it. I'm an adult playing in puddles. Splashing in puddles. Never gets old, man. Careful. Okay, sorry. Let's try that again. Right next to the cliff. Don't fall down there. <laughs> Woo! That's the plane because I need my eyes. Very much. Beautiful day, man. Can I see the mountains off the right? No. Whoa, careful. We got the skid plate. We need a steel. We need a dwarven missile. anxiety about the tire pressure. Just a little. Alright, we're going to look down for this one. Ready? Hope the camera got that. Ugh, my right foot's freezing in a good way. That was good, man. This is Jesse Warden on my Kawasaki Versus X300. And if you're ever looking for a cool camp spot or just want to take your off-road vehicle, man, Grace Mountain, the lower rapid end camps behind it, Quaker Road, I'll put the actual road that it changes into up there. It's a great place, man. I mean, you can see by the number of campers, cool place. A lot of people, you know, just take trucks and leave. They don't have to camp, you know, they chill at the river. See y'all in the next one. But <laughs> No puddle shall escape my sight. Assuming I don't lose traction and break my leg, that'd be bad. This is how cruiser people ride their bikes. They lean back. Except they're not looking down, they're looking up. My arms are T-Rex. Yeah, like, can you imagine? It'd be so relaxing. I could just lean back. Right, I should probably drive the bike. That's a good idea.